when we execute the program a window of this kind comes up with a lump sum zip and other things uh, the options if you want to close you can close this with exit and when we click on a lump sum a window uh, will come here so in this one we can enter some data like uh, what is the investing amount suppose you want to invest some uh, <clears throat> 1 lakh amount and with an interest of 15% uh, for the period of 10 years then for each year the what is the amount it will become it's showing like after one year the amount will be 115,000 after two years it is 132,000 after three years it is 152,000 like it after 10 years it will be 404,000 and the final value is displayed here the actual amount invested the final value and absolutely how much value it has increased so 304 oh, times uh, it is then if you want to invest this is a lump sum investment means you are investing only one time and that that value will be increased by each year instead if you want to invest every month on a monthly basis then you can do something like suppose you want to thousand uh, invest only one thousand per year per month uh, expecting a 15 percent returns and you are doing it for 10 years then the amount will be uh, the actual amount you have invested is 120 thousands and then uh, the final amount will be 278 thousand and the absolute returns is this much similarly if you want to check the, the, the absolute and CAGR returns of a particular amount this will be amount is final amount has become uh, 250,000 in, in a period of uh, 3 years and 6 months then you can say this absolute redundancy is 150 uh, because it's uh, on 100,000 it has become 250,000 so its absolute redundancy is 150 anyway the CAGR per year returns is 29.92 around 30 suppose the absolute returns are exactly like uh, 120 thousands are the actual amount invested and 250 is the final value then the absolute returns would be 108 and CAGR is 23.33 percent similarly if you are taking a loan uh, uh, some amount uh, from a financial institution uh, suppose you have taken uh, 1 million suppose with an interest rate of 12 percent with an EMI of uh, 10,000 uh, per month you are going to pay back then how much time it will take to complete that amount so that will be around saying the amount of EMI amount is uh, too less it should be more than this much amount so more it should be more than 10,000 so uh, let's go with some 20,000 because the now uh, this is what it will uh, take like 5 years and 10 months is the time uh, period required. And uh, by each year, how much interest you are paying for the first ten, uh, uh, first twenty thousand that you pay, ten thousand is the uh, interest amount and ten thousand is the principal amount for the first month. The second month, uh, as the months increase, the interest amount will be decreased and the principal amount will be increased. So the second month, the amount that you pay twenty thousand out of that nine thousand nine hundred will be interest, ten thousand one hundred will be principal so that after paying these two things your outstanding amount would be 979,900 so similarly after one year by the end of one year uh, the outstanding amount would be 873,174 similarly after each month and each year we are uh, showing the data 
so after five years and ten months the amount will be cleared so this is what will happen similarly if you want to uh, suppose same one million one million amount with an interest rate of suppose this time we'll take you know, only eight percent and the uh, span i just want to clear this amount uh, in a span of uh, 12 years suppose then how much amount i should pay per month so it should be 10,824 instead the interest rate is not eight percent it is 12 percent then how much time it will um, how much amount i should pay means it is 13,000 suppose if you want to pay this amount in instead of 12 or 12 years if you want to clear this in 10 years only then you have to pay a little more like 14,000